Well, this is a picture of a father in pain, suffering from a rare and mysterious swelling condition that strikes without warning and with no clear understanding of why. Doctors say it could be genetic, it could be an autoimmune disorder, it could even be related to certain plants. But now this family is pleading for answers. My body is reacting to anything. Anything it sees as trauma. Yeah, it sees as trauma and it's and that's how it's responding. Paul Fontes is an active, otherwise healthy dad, but his mysterious illness has been painful, scary, and is his wife laughing? She was d crying laughing when she was rushing me to the hospital because I couldn't breathe. My lips were protruding so far out and when I'd breathe in, the top lip would suck underneath my nostrils. And, I'm, and, I, and I was sitting there like, <laughs> it's not embarrassing because it is part of it. it is. put it out there. I bought her a sweater, a special <laughs> sweatshirt that had the picture of the lips on the front and back. Occasionally and without warning, parts of his body will intensely swell. They had to almost give me a trach. Um, at uh, Clear Lake Regional when she rushed me to the emergency room. This has not been a lifetime curse. It just started four years ago. He'll go weeks, even months at a time with no swelling at all. But there's no telling when it will flare up. So he keeps emergency medicine in stock, even though he's fearful they won't work. All of a sudden, in the middle of lunch, my bottom lip started to swell up. So much to where it was sticking out like this where I could see it and it was hurting. His description of the symptoms and these photos make the mystery swelling sound like a similar condition, an autoimmune disorder called hereditary angioedema. Dental procedures can precipitate an attack, accidents uh, can trigger it. Most cases we don't have a specific trigger that we can identify. But Paul says as rare as that disease is, he's already been tested for it, and he claims that's not the diagnosis. His condition could still be an autoimmune disorder, and the Fontes are desperate for more answers. He had a hive in his throat before, and so he stays up all night because he's afraid to go to sleep, because afraid that it'll swell, you know, that the hive will get bigger and, and close his throat, so he doesn't sleep real well. They're making a serious plea for help in the middle of the wisecracks. Hey, if they can get the answer to this and figure out the root cause, I'll get them sweatshirts for the whole office. At least he has a good attitude. Yeah. Paul suspects poison sumac, which is related to poison ivy and poison oak, could have set off this illness. He had just been exposed to some of that when that swelling happened for the very first time. Ouch. His allergist, infectious disease doctor, and many others are not done running tests to figure it all out, though. That's always scary when there's just test after test and you still don't know what's going on. Yeah.